let us all pause for a while to pray the angel. Let us remember that we are in the most holy presence of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, she by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and to our Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be done to me according to your will. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, and the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in our our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Lord, forth in the future, Lord, your grace and our hearts, that we may the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, made by the passion and death on the cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection, to the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, now and ever shall be, world without end. Our Lethalian prayer. I will continue, O oh my God, to do all my actions for the love of you. Saint John Baptist de Lethal, pray for us. Save Jesus in our hearts forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome to this Eucharistic celebration. Our sponsor for tonight's Mass is the Parents of University Students Organization. And our mass celebrant is our university chaplain, Father Luis Lorenzo of the Legionaries of Christ. Please stand, let us begin the celebration. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Almighty and everlasting God, as the nativity of your Son according to flesh draws near, grant our humble prayer that we may know the mercy of the Word incarnate, who took flesh of the Virgin Mary and came to dwell among us. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. Thus says the Lord God, Lo, I am sending my messenger to prepare the way before me, and suddenly there will come to the temple the Lord whom you seek, and the messenger of the covenant whom you desire. Yes, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. But who will endure the day of his coming, and who can stand when he appears? For he is like the refiner's fire, or like the fuller's lie. He will sit refining and purifying silver, and he will purify the sons of Levi, refining them like gold or like silver, that they may offer due sacrifice to the Lord. Then the sacrifice of Judah and Jerusalem will please the Lord, as in the days of old, as in years gone by. Lo, I will send you Elijah the prophet, before the day of the Lord comes, the great and terrible day, to turn the hearts of the fathers to their children and the hearts of their children to their fathers, lest they come and strike the land with doom. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lift up your heads and see your redemption is near at hand. Lift up your heads and see, your redemption is near at hand. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God, my Savior. Lift up your heads and see, your redemption is near at hand. Good and upright is the Lord. Thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice. He teaches the humble his way. Lift up your heads and see, your redemption is near at hand. All the paths of the Lord are kindness and constancy toward those who keep his covenant and his decrees. The friendship of the Lord is with those who fear him and his covenant for their instruction. Lift up your heads and see, your redemption is near at hand.
O King of all nations and keystone of the church, come and save man whom you formed from the dust. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the time arrived for Elizabeth to have her child, she gave birth to a son. Her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had shown his great mercy toward her, and they rejoiced with her. When they came on the eighth day to circumcise the child, they were going to call him Zechariah after his father. But his mother said in reply, No, he will be called John. But they answered her, There is no one among your relatives who has this name. So they made signs, asking his father what he wished him to be called. He asked for a tablet and wrote, John is his name. And all were amazed. Immediately his mouth was opened, his tongue freed, and he spoke blessing God. Then fear came upon all their neighbors, and all these matters were discussed throughout the hill country of Judea. All who heard these things took them to heart, saying, What then will this child be? For surely the hand of the Lord was with him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, magandang gabi po sa ating lahat. Malapit na po tayo. Dalawang misa na lang. Two more to go. And if yesterday we offered the Mass for the students, for the young, tonight I'd like to offer this Mass for the adults, for the older ones of our community, the seniors, the parents, the formators. I understand that the sponsors for the Mass are parents of the students. So, tamang tama, this Mass is for you. Because if yesterday we reflected on the example of Mary, a teenager, today we reflect on Zechariah and Elizabeth, who were adults, parents. So this Mass is really for you. Zechariah and Elizabeth were righteous in the eyes of God because they observed all the commandments. But Zechariah, unfortunately, we find in the gospel, was mute and speechless. Because when the angel appeared to him in the temple, he doubted that the Lord could still bless his wife Elizabeth with a child. And so it makes me wonder towards Zechariah. Zechariah, how can you doubt if you've already been so faithful to the Lord all these years, wouldn't the Lord be as faithful to you now? Last night, I had a group gospel reflection via Zoom with friends, young dads around my age, now with children. And one of them shared, alam nyo, I realized na iba talaga ang magpasko, ngay- ang magpasko ngayon bilang tatay. I think it's the first time my family has gifts under the tree, but none are for me. The gifts say, oh, this is for you and your wife, or the gift is for your family, or the gift is for my kids. But for me, for me alone, wala na yata. Di ba ang sarap makatanggap ng regalo para sa iyo lang? Akin to. Ako yung bubukas nito. Pero alam niyo pre, iba na. 
iba na ang Pasko ko bilang tatay. So I tried to imagine my friend like a Zechariah, feeling in a sense forgotten and looking at his Christmas tree speechless, thinking about what does it all mean? Is there anything there under the tree meant for me? Probably what Zechariah was going through in his speechlessness. My dear friends, how can you doubt if you've already been faithful to the Lord all these years? Like Zechariah, have you gotten used to going to the temple and thinking, I guess this is just how things are, how things will be. Can God still work a miracle? Di na yata. Matanda na ako. Ang tagal na kasi. You who are adults, you who have, sorry, we who are adults, we who have experienced much more in life, are you still open to the Lord surprising you, leaving you speechless? That's why this Mass is for you and me. But then my friend concluded his sharing last night. Father, this Christmas, ngayong Pasko, I think this is how God wants me to live it. Different, but special. As a husband to my wife, as a father to my children. Because if you notice the gifts, they point to him as a husband to his wife, and as a father to his children. And so I told him, how beautiful, how beautiful. Yes, it's different now. It's no longer just about you, but isn't it more meaningful? What a beautiful message you pass on to your children and to your family. Just like Zechariah, my friend, no longer spoke about his disappointment, but about his inspiration. He no longer doubted in what God can do for him, but praised God for what he is now doing for his wife and for his children. He no longer spoke as an older man. He spoke as a husband, and he spoke as a father. And so the townspeople in the gospel were right. If a father believes in this way, what then will this child be? My dear brothers and sisters, let us celebrate Christmas within the context of a family. And I think it pertains to those of us who are husbands and wives, fathers and mothers, to be the first to try it out and make it happen meaningfully. Let us pray in this Mass for one another because even if it is almost the end, it is still a powerful source of grace. May not the passing of time or lack of apparent improvement make us grow weary. May not the aging of our bodies or the weakening of our health make us lose hope. Let us have faith in the new blessings that will come in time. Maybe in a different way, but certainly a better way for all of us, for our families and for our friends. That is how God blesses in Christmas time, not just the individual but the entire family together. And lastly, my dear friends, do not be afraid of not finding anything under the Christmas tree for you. 
because all these blessings that God wants to give you already has your name under his tree. Not only for John the son or Elizabeth the mother, but also for Zechariah the father. Do not be afraid. You are not forgotten this Christmas. You are loved. And your gift in due time will come. Amen. Zechariah called his son John, meaning God is gracious. God will bless. Trusting in God's graciousness and generosity, we pray, Lord, be gracious to us. Lord, be gracious to us. That church and government leaders may show God's graciousness by their loving and persevering service to God's people. We pray. Lord, be gracious to us that we may come to appreciate our Christian names and dignity and live up to our baptismal promises, we pray. Lord, be gracious to us. That we may become a united and caring community where sorrow is halved and joy is multiplied, we pray. Lord, be gracious to us. That families who gather together at Christmas and the New Year especially especially Lasallian parents, gathered here and their families, may renew their love, solidarity, and support for one another. We pray. Lord, be gracious to us. That the Lord may grant to the souls of our brothers and sisters the reward of eternal life. We pray. Lord, be gracious to us. Let us pray now for the urgent concerns of our community, our personal intentions, and if I may add, all those who right now are carrying some form of physical sickness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, be gracious to us. Loving Father, watch over your people. May we strive to please you at all times. This we ask through Jesus, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen.
May my brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Lord God, let the sacrifice you've given us as the full expression of the church's worship establish us firmly in your peace that we may celebrate with untroubled hearts the coming birth of our Savior, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end. We acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jesse, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself self wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant pardon and peace, O Lord, to those you have fed with heavenly gifts, so that at the coming of your beloved Son, we may hasten to greet him with lamps alight in our hands. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us all together pray the Oratio Imperata on the threat from COVID-19. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem the trans its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with compassion with competence and compassion. We pray, we pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. 
Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungso, pray for us. Announcements. We thank the Parents of University Students Organization, or PUSO, for sponsoring our Mass tonight. We continue to invite everyone to join us tomorrow. Our last Simbang Gabi schedule, 6 p.m. at this page. Our Christmas Eve Mass will be streamed live from the Manila Cathedral on December 24 at 8 p.m. Please stay tuned after the final song for the Christmas carol performed by the De La Salle Chorale under the guidance of their artistic director, Mr. Joel Aquino. Thank you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Hasten to the aid of your faithful people who call upon you, O Lord, we pray, and graciously give strength in their human weakness so that being dedicated to you in complete sincerity, they may find gladness in your remedies, both now and in the life to come, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and your loved ones and remain with you forever. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our Lasallian prayer, I will continue, O my God, to do all my actions for the love of you. St. John Baptist de La Salle, pray for us. Live Jesus in our hearts forever.